Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Jessica Sue and in today's video we have a small shopping haul, some light cleaning, and I wanted to pull out my Halloween decorations to go through them to see what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. That way I can start prepping and getting ready for my very first Halloween clean and decorate with me video. I'm very, very excited. I have some DIYs planned. I did go to the dollar store. Here is a little overview of what I picked up. I will go into those a little bit more in detail later on in the video, but I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of that. So let's jump right into it and get some cleaning done and then we can go through everything together. I don't have a whole lot to do in my kitchen today, so I just have these to get done and then I have to do my countertop and then I want to go over everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then start pulling out my bins and going through them because like I said, I have a bunch of random Halloween decorations. So I need to know what I can put in the house, what I can use, what I can get rid of and maybe um, get some new things for this next video that I plan on posting for you guys. And I still need to go and find a couple of things for my DIY project, the main one that I really want to do. So my main project is going to be the DIY Witch's Cauldron with the Bubbles. I think it is so cute. I've seen it everywhere and I really just want to give it a go and see how I can put my own spin on it. There's a couple other DIYs that I've seen on TikTok that I want to try and maybe incorporate both together. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm excited to share those with you. Let's just finish up this kitchen so we can start going through the Halloween bin. Okay guys, so we ended up pulling out, or I should say my husband ended up pulling out all the Halloween decorations that we have so far. We're gonna go through it. I looks like this is some indoor, some outdoor, so we're gonna go through it and see what we have. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you, I did go to Walmart today and I ended up picking up two things, three things. Um, not originally what I went there to go get, but <clears throat> I ended up picking up this, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus sign, which is really, really cute. I love it. And then this is my absolute favorite. It's this trick or treat with the purple. It's so pretty. These signs were only $4.84 at Walmart. I absolutely loved this one. So Lily seems to like it too. She keeps trying to bite it, but um, yeah. <laughs> So we picked up those and then I ended up getting this window cling, which I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on a window. I may put it on my mirror because she's kind of creepy and she kind of looks like me. So I just thought that was really, really cute. It could look like she's coming out of the mirror and yeah, so we really like this one. What do you think, Lily? You're all up in the <laughs> So the first thing I'm seeing is our little skeleton guy. We usually put this guy outside because he's got all his body parts here and um, usually he's got like a gravestone and everything. So I don't know, I may reuse this for something else. Lily, what are you doing? Say hi. Hello, hello Mr. Bones. Anyway, <laughs> so we have that guy and then I do, I did find my pumpkin. I've had this guy for a, quite a while. He's just a little basket, but he's resting in there right now. So we have that. But let's see what else we have in here. I did find... So my daughter painted this of Winifred. So I think I might hang her up just because, you know, why not? It's Halloween. And Winifred is a classic. I do see my pumpkins, my glittery, my glittery black pumpkins, which I've had for a while. Lily's very curious. She doesn't know what any of this stuff is. It's her first Halloween. Yes, it is. Um, I think I need to get new batteries for it, though. Yeah, because they don't light up anymore, so I'm going to have to do that. Oh, you're going to... Oh, look. <laughs> She's falling all over herself. It's a pumpkin, honey. No, you can't have that. So, but we're going to put that out for sure. Um, here's another little creepy arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is in here? I don't even know. Oh, these are just little... That's nothing. That can get set off to the side. I don't even know why that's in there. Other little lights that I can put out later. I wonder if these even still work. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think they work. 
that one doesn't work. I might have to get new batteries for that one. This one does, see? This one, the light, it changes color from green to red, so we'll figure this out. But at least I know I have these and those will come in handy for certain things. So we're gonna set all of those off to the side. Oh, my daughter and her boyfriend did get me the Hocus Pocus sisters, the Sanderson sisters last year, so I do need to put them out. And, oh, I do have these lanterns from quite a few years. I do have to change out the lights in these two, but this one has like a witch and the pumpkins. These, just these little lanterns. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Same with this one. This one has is a house. And I usually like to put these like next to the sink in the bathrooms. So, oh, down you go. So these are definitely going out. Our creepy cloth. So I found my little stems that I'll be using. And then of course, so I've got these and then I've got my little jars. This one says happy Halloween, if it'll focus. And then I have these, I have a purple, black and a orange one. Then my bat tequila. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree a long time ago and I've had them for quite a bit. I absolutely think they're adorable. I love them. And with my little DIY project, it's gonna look really good. So, I'm excited. I probably won't end up getting to the DIY to show you guys until um, I just have more of these, but um, until I'm able to find the last bit that I need. So I do need to make a pit stop at Hobby Lobby because it's the only place I have not gone to yet to see if they have it. Um, here are more of those lanterns. And then, oh, this. So guys, my sister, as I mentioned, she sews. And a couple of years ago, she made me these banners i ended up having to cut it and to make it into pieces and i usually hang these up near my curtains or whatever i'm gonna find a cute spot for these so these are definitely coming out so i need all of those and then when i worked my job i got a bunch of these like little mystery ornament packs that you can get from hallmark and this one is the little Jack, I gotta retie the string, but this is the little Jack skeleton. Isn't he cute? So we'll find little spots for these guys. And then, what else do we have? Oh, these I picked up a long time ago from the dollar store and I got three little brooms, two purple and one orange, which I'm gonna end up putting out. I got them for me and my girls but I think I'm going to like display them somehow and have our names written out in like creepy lettering. Um, this is a really sad <laughs> broom that moves and does things. I think she may need to go. She's kind of like, she I, <laughs> but her, her stem is broken. So I think I might have to, Maybe I'll DIY my own. So this one's gonna probably end up going in the trash. Here's another one of my jars, which is a witch's brew in silver. So I like that. Um, here's another lantern with a cat on it. So these, I again, I like to put these out um, throughout the house, mostly in the bathroom um, as a little little ambiance, but yeah. We have our orange pumpkin, glittery pumpkin. Look how pretty. So that one's with our black one, so I'm gonna have to probably change out the thing in there as well. Maybe I'll just stick one of these in there um, instead of using like the light that it comes with because let's see if that'll actually work. 
just twist it on and off. I think that works. I think I just DIY'd something. <laughs> a couple of more. There's Oogie Boogie and Sally. Here's a little Sally. I don't know if you can see her. We'll try and get her to balance. Isn't she cute? She'll go out somewhere. And Oogie Boogie. I think this is Oogie Boogie. Is this Oogie Boogie? You guys can tell me in the comments, but I think that is cute. Um, here is my Dr. Van Horn's flesh stripper bottle. I love that. We have some dried bat wings. Not that there's really bat wings, but I did get bats this year to hang up. So I can actually maybe try and squeeze a few in here so that way we have the bat wings. Here's my other witch's brew bottle. A bigger bottle. <laughs> and then I have dried cat fur balls and back droppings. I get so excited. And sometimes I think like, do I have too much junk? Do I have too many things? And another bottle of Eye of Newt. So I think I'm gonna do something really, really cute with some of the crafts that I have planned. Um, but yeah. And we have our, this is my husband's, the danger tape. That will go in his pile. And then we have, oh, we found the other arm, another arm, ooh. And then we do have these that go outside. We got these from the 99 cent store a long time ago when they were actually a 99 cent store. Um, or we're just changing over. I think these ones too need new batteries. I don't think the batteries are working in these, but. These are really, really cute. We usually put these out on the porch going down the steps. So we have that. And then here is the one with the bats, which is a theme kind of in my house this year. So I'm kind of excited. Uh, let's see if this one will turn on. I doubt it. What kind of batteries does it need? Oh, double A. I have double A's, so we can do that. So very exciting. I think... I want to say I have another bin, but I'm going to have to check, so let's pause this for a minute. I'll pull everything out, kind of organize it a little bit nicer. I want to give my husband back his outdoor stuff, and then we'll kind of touch on what we have, and um, yeah. Okay guys, so this is everything laid out on the table. It's a bit of a mess, but... Oh my gosh, she's so creepy. I love it. But this is one of our DIY projects that I'm going to be working on. But um, I absolutely love her. She's so creepy. And then all of our lanterns that will be placed. My cauldron and all of the lights that I ended up getting from the Dollar Tree. My new hand towels. And then I got this cute little Happy Halloween banner with the cats and everything. And then I love my new signs. I'm so excited to put these out. These are the bats that I ended up purchasing from Amazon. And then here is one of the projects. So I'm doing the witch's cauldron. And here are the lights. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Love it. I just need to get the balls. I can't do this project until I get the balls to go inside. But this is everything we have to work with for Halloween. So I'm very excited and we will get to all of this and decorating in my next video. I just wanted to pull out what I had. Maybe I can buy a couple of extra things to put into the mix, but I'm loving it. But the next thing I kind of want to do is just kind of do these DIY projects and then show you guys in my next video how it all came together. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Lily, are you excited? Are you excited, honey? Your first Halloween? We're gonna get you a costume. Yes, we are. You're so cute. Lily got a haircut. She absolutely, we like her a little bit fluffier. They went a little short, but she's so cute. But yeah, this is everything, guys. So 
<sighs> my god there's a lot okay guys so i was able to go to hobby lobby i have my cauldron with my tissues or what do you call them plastic bags and then i picked up the styrofoam ball it ended up being way too big so i had to have my husband cut it in half but let's kick off this project and get it done so i can go rest for the evening This is another project I ended up doing. It's a little juvenile, but I think it's super cute. I put the trees in the background. Maybe I should put that with the cauldron. I wonder how that would look. And then we did this guy. It is clearly a new day. I ended up um, going to bed right after I showed you guys everything that I DIY'd. I did pair the cauldron with the witches and I actually think it's really, really cute. So let me show you how that actually looks. All right, guys, so here is the witches. I'm not gonna keep this here, but I ended up putting the bubble cauldron in front and i think it's really actually kind of cool so um i'm gonna display this elsewhere um once i start fully decorating but i wanted to see what it would look like and i think it's actually pretty cool i'm happy with it like i said the witches are a little i'm no artist okay like and i completely burnt my finger when i did this project yesterday so but i think it came out really really cute i think i want to add a couple of more balls here just to kind of make it really extra but I think it's really really cute and I'm very very happy with it the ghost uh, funny enough has scared both my children <laughs> when they've walked into the restroom but I think he's really cool too so let's take another look at him so here's the little ghost guy let's turn off the light you can see me <laughs> so let's turn off the light He's kind of creepy. I like it though, and I love the lantern that he or she is holding. I think it's really, really cute. So that was everything from yesterday's video into today. I'm gonna call it good here. I will be doing my very first clean and decorate with me for Halloween very shortly. I'm excited for that, so I hope you guys tune in for this, uh, for that video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.